What's up? You heard me first time, a.k.a. Gotta Be Kidding Me. I don't know which name you prefer. I have an easier time saying Gotta Be Kidding Me, so... And I think most people still know you as that, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, hopefully you're cool with that. Um, I'm not responding to a video, but I'm responding to one of your beliefs in regards to us being more scientific about how we break down um, some of these numbers and some of these issues dealing with relationships. And I, I agree with you, and I just wanted to take it a step further for a lot of people who don't truly understand what we're talking about. Um, you have quantitative research, which is just numbers, right? Yes and no, one, two, or three. Um, and you have qualitative, right? Where you observe people or you interview people and you're going beyond a yes or no answer. So you can't really code somebody's responses in a number, right? Okay, a lot of the the stats that we see is nothing more than data put into some computer system or program and ran out okay so if you look at these data when they're actually compiling it and you get some sort of printout there's going to be a whole bunch of numbers okay so if i look at it you know some people might say 42 percent but i can look at certain numbers and say oh no no it's not 42 it's 35 percent but at the end of the day it's just a number it's just a number and unfortunately there is a lot of propaganda going on in regards to how black men are viewed and how black women are viewed so to me I, I can't even trust some of these studies because I'm not sure how scientific they were as you know people can purposely create their sample size to re reflect what they want okay it is what it is you know how many people are actually being fair so I think it's always important, even when you do look at numbers, look at the study itself, right? What were some of their methods? Who did they talk to? How long did they do it? What were the questions that they asked? So you know if you can trust the numbers. And even then, you should want to almost want to see the printout because it's never just one number, okay? As you know, there's a whole bunch of numbers based off of a whole bunch of categories. It's, it's an art form. Doing stats is an art form you know people get paid people major in stats because you read the stats you have to interpret the numbers and all this other good stuff so the 42 percent you know I'm curious to see how people got there after they looked over the data um, but even with that it's still only quantitative it doesn't tell you why okay and scientifically we have qualitative research which is based off of observations and interviews like I said and that's what we need to do so we can really break this down and figure out what exactly is going on um, when people look at numbers they don't realize that it's just a number for example if I said today at my school um, seven percent of the student population was absent what does that tell me other than seven percent were gone that's it do I know why no in order for me to know why, I'm going to have to do qualitative research. I'm going to have to talk to some of the students that were gone, sit down with them, <clears throat> excuse me, and ask them, hey, why were you gone? What was going on? Did you have to go to the doctor? Did you have to do this, that, and the third? So later on, I can say 7% of the student population was absent, and this is why, because I actually talked to those people. But when we deal with these stats, um, we just put it out there and everybody can read it their own way okay um, like I said before I can say 7% of my student population was absent but what does that mean I can say they ditched or you can say they had a doctor's appointment or somebody can say they wanted to start their parents said you know we want to start uh, we want to go on vacation so there's different explanations so when we deal with these numbers it's open it's open for everybody to put their own spin on it okay there is no one right interpretation of the numbers unless we scientifically do some qualitative research actually talk to people figure out what's going on and that's not what we see okay all these interviews and all these mini you know uh, 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 exposés that we see on you know ABC like the one that we're all talking about all it does is take that quantitative research and it tries to give their point of view 
their reason to why 42% of black women are single or whatever. But like I said before, you can get a group of men and we can do the same sort of expose and we can give our own take on why 42% of black women are single. But no one's going to be right. The next step, right, isn't just to come up with some number, okay, um, whether they did it properly or not, and say, well, it's up to everybody to go figure out what's going on. The next responsible step would be, hey, let's talk to the people who are single. So the women who say they're single, let's talk to them and figure out what's going on, right? What are they seeing? What are they not doing? And actually observe those women, right? You know, uh, the, the hardest part to me about qualitative <clears throat> research is the best way to do it is to observe somebody not even interview because when people interview there's the whole risk of them not being truthful okay so the best method is just to interview people and watch okay but unfortunately we don't do enough of that everybody wants to speak but no one wants to necessarily be watched to figure out what's going on okay you have a lot of black men who are trying to say this is what we see but it gets refuted right you know a lot of black women aren't checking for what black women are doing just like a lot of black men aren't checking for what other black men are doing so whenever we want to speak about what the other gender is doing there's this issue so we don't get anywhere even then so like you said before the only way that to me we're really going to get somewhere is if we see more studies that are less focused on quantitative data and more so on qualitative why watching people let's watch these this group of black women interact let's watch this group of black men interact and figure out what's going on because like i said before um when black men when we share our stories a lot of women aren't listening and i guess it's vice versa when they share their stories we're not listening because at the end of the day we're not researchers we know we're not scientists or you know we're not doing things scientifically and that's okay but we have to understand that if we want to use science to be scientific we just can't stop at quantitative data numbers we have to do qualitative actually get in talk to people or better yet watch people see how they interact and take it from there so that when we try to explain the numbers you know the 42 percent or the seven percent or whatever it is we can actually say you know we've done some research as opposed to just putting it out there and leaving it up to everybody to put their own take on it and to run with it um, in whatever direction they want to take it so um, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from um, because I agree with you I just think a lot of people don't necessarily understand the difference between quantitative research and how it's very limiting and how it leaves you exposed or just open to doing whatever versus qualitative that does a better job at explaining why why is this going on right so anyways I'm curious to see how you feel and how other people feel y'all take it easy God bless